But what? Wait a minute. You what? You're starting over, Slack? Yeah, I'm starting over. Okay, yeah. Um, I guess some of you are really surprised to see the title of this video: Skyrim Master Walkthrough New Game. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to redeem myself for my original uh, playthrough slash walkthrough. As you may or may not know, the first 26 episodes of that uh, Skyrim playthrough slash walkthrough was a blind playthrough and I only did so because there were so many requests to do Skyrim that I didn't want to torture people into waiting uh, you know until next year when I finally got around to learning how to play Skyrim so I just jammed uh, jumped right into the game and started putting up videos and I'll never ever 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 do that again no more blind playthroughs for the slackster um, they're just lightning rods for trolls and no-dolls and I don't get any enjoyment out of that whatsoever um, so I'm gonna redeem myself uh, number one number two um, there was some talk about my character in my other walkthrough uh, my character level was 49 and there's some talk that I was getting overpowered I don't agree with this okay and there was even one of you who said I was overpowered and then later changed your mind and agreed with me no I'm not overpowered um, yeah, there are some mages out there and some other, uh, you know, enemies that can take me down with, with within one shot. You know, they can one shot me. And I figure if they can one shot me and I can one shot them, it's a fair fight. I'm not overpowered. Yeah, so it's like, uh, you know, that's the way it is. Um, okay, so I totally pwned Alduin's ass. I completely pwned him. Uh, but that's not the case with every single character in the game. But, 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 I do want to take on Master Difficulty Level. And why not continue my other walkthrough uh, on Master since there's that option to simply change the difficulty in the middle of a game. Um, I don't consider that a challenge. I have never considered that a challenge when a game offers you that option. Uh, especially in this game, I, you know, played on Adept, built myself up a kick-ass character, and now I'm going to switch to Master. I, I, I consider that playing straight up a cheat. So I'm going to take on Master right from the get-go. Okay, that's what I consider a true challenge for you know um, someone taking on the Master difficulty level. Okay, number three, I have installed patch 1.6. Okay, I've been avoiding the patches uh, since January. I've been playing. Um, I'm on the PC version, by the way, and so I have the Steam version of Skyrim, and that's a whole other story. I won't get into it, but. Uh, quickly steam sucks and um, <laughs> it totally sucks um, what they do is they force updates on you we discussed this many times uh, over and there's there's no way to round it except to play in offline mode so I've been avoiding going online with steam since last January since I first installed Skyrim because I've heard all kinds of reports about every patch having its share of bugs and they did have their share of bugs and I just didn't want any of those bugs screwing up my walker so as a result, uh, there was one major patch, I think it was patch 1.5, where they actually completely changed how smithing um, levels up. And now it's based on value. So you can no longer just take a whole bunch of iron daggers and power level smithing to 100 instantly. You know, uh, you can't do that anymore. It's all based on value. And I've been dying to try this new um, tweak that they made because I personally thought that that should have been done. I thought that smithing, leveling smithing was way too easy. So I've now installed patch 1.6 and those of you who have been keeping track of the comments in my Skyrim walkthroughs realized or you know um, saw that I, I just it, it created a major crisis as, as soon as patch 1.6 uh, was installed Skyrim crashed instantly within 10 seconds of playing and I spent the whole morning trying to figure it out and I finally figured it all out finally got Skyrim up and, up and running again but it was a bitch and a half and I'm never going online uh, for Steam until I finished my Deus Ex Human Revolution walkthrough uh, which is pretty much the only reason I went online with Steam was to install that game and so uh, as a result I had to like you know Steam just automatically updated Skyrim and download the latest pack but anyways I wanted to update uh, Skyrim for this master walkthrough anyway so I killed two birds one stone updated Skyrim to 1.6 and I installed Deus Ex Human Revolution yes I'm doing a walkthrough on that and yes I'm doing a walkthrough on Borderlands 2 and yes I'm doing a walkthrough on Far Cry 3 as long as it doesn't suck right so that's that's pretty much it uh, I put it to a vote to what quest line I'm going to do next uh, and the Dark Brotherhood won by a colossal landslide there's no doubt about it, the Dark Brotherhood won 
So that's the first thing I'm taking on in this master walkthrough is the Dark Brotherhood. I'm not even going to do the main quest line up to the first dragon. I'm unless you want me to. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm just going to abandon the main quest line altogether. But that will mean that there will be no random dragons flying around Skyrim as I proceed through the game. So post a comment if you want me to take the first, like the main quest line up to two where I kill the first dragon, which will mean I'll have random dragons uh, flying around. And I believe I'll have the unrelenting force shout. I forget how it goes. Anyways, um, post a comment uh, if you want me to just continue, go straight into the Dark Brotherhood. I'm ready to do that. Um, if not, I'll take the main quest line up until the first dragon and then continue from there and we'll go right into the Dark Brotherhood. And then after that, I'll do the companions. And after that, I'll do the Daedra quest line and pretty much everything else that I did not do in the first walkthrough. Okay, that's what this walkthrough is all about. So it's pretty much all new content on Master Difficulty, Patch 1.6, and that's it. So let's get right to it, and all the commentary that follows this will be recorded live while playing the game. Yeah, alright, let's do it. Skyrim, start a new game? Yes! This will be one of the only load screens that you will see throughout this entire walkthrough. All the rest will be edited out for your viewing pleasure. Yeah, my name is Major Slack, and we're going to play Skyrim on the Master difficulty setting. I believe at this point I can access the settings. Yes I can. Um, so let's do that right now. Settings, gameplay. There we go. It is indeed on master already. So I had it set on master before. So I just want to show you that. So that's it. Let's get to it. This opening is a lot more fun when you know the storyline to Skyrim. It, it makes a lot more sense to me now. The first time we. We hey, went through this. You. Who, me? Finally awake. Yep. <laughs> you were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Who, Damn him? Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. Yeah. <laughs> they hadn't been looking for you. They'd stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You got there, a point there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. I gotta agree with you. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. La di da. Ulfric, the Jarl Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you, oh gods, where are they taking us? <laughs> I don't know where we're going, but Sovngarde awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. That dude, strap hey, on a pair. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. <laughs> I hear that. Hey, let's get this over with. You might want to send a text Mark, message to Rorikstead. <laughs> Vines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Where? Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Look at this guy. He looks like he's about to drop a 12 pound shit. <laughs> this is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Velod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. 
inside the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the courts. Move it. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Well, aren't you the brave soul? Oh, We're yeah. not rebels. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them. We weren't with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Run. Run for us. Run. <laughs> Go. Go. Zigzag. Because you'll stand a better chance. Nah. <laughs> Wait. You there. Hear me? Step forward. Who are you? Me. I am Major of Slack. And I'm a badass Khajiit. Or that is, I will be a badass Khajiit as soon as I apply a little war paint and some scars and maybe make him a little older, beef him up a little bit. Yeah, there we go, some gray whiskers on him. And how about uh, how about a fancy hairdo? Huh? Want a fancy hairdo? I don't want a fancy hairdo. No, no, wait, don't, don't do this to me. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I kind of screwed up the nose a little bit. It's a little too pointy, and I can't go back because the menu won't let me. And I don't know how to go back. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Click, 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 click. I can't go back. Okay. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I got back here. Here. Okay. Head, face. Nose, here we go. Nose tight. Yeah. 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 Okay, this is Major of Slack. Finish the name of your character? Can't do. Alright, here we go. Major of slack. <laughs> Done. You with one of the trade caravans, Kajit? Your kind always seems to find trouble. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to elsewhere. Follow the captain, prisoner. Yeah, you're gonna get yours, buddy. <laughs> As soon as my man Odavin comes down, or whatever his name is. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Uh oh. What was that? <laughs> it's nothing. Daddy's <laughs> home. <laughs> yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Our... As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning. Oh, cool. A beheading. Sweet. <laughs> My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? <laughs> I think it's time for a Mr. Burns. Excellent. You Imperial bastards! 
Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Yeah, how about that? The cat. The cat. What? Me? What about the badass rebel king yeah, here? Did you hear that? How about him first? Shit, the I didn't do nothing. Next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Okay, listen. No, I, I, I'm really sorry. I, I, I meant to pay those parking tickets. Honest. Okay, listen. Uh, uh, can we cut a deal? At least clean the chopping block. Come on. I don't want. Yeah, grody.